back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you all an updated an updated like step-by-step -step of how I did my DIY background and you can use this background for videos for content creation for photos for pretty much everything that entails like taking like product shots or just doing like a YouTube video or something like that so I went to Dollar Tree everything that I'm using today is from Dollar Tree except for the command strips those I got from Lowe's I think so I went to Dollar Tree and I found brick like tiles and I bought 22 of these just in case so I'm going to show you a step by step of everything that I did for this and I also got zip ties, a pack of <clears throat> zip ties from Dollar Tree as well and then poster board. So let's get started. I have the poster board lined up and I'm going to take tweezers and I'm literally going to poke two holes on both sides, I'm going to take the zip tie, I'm going to put it through one end, put it through the other end, and then I'm going to put it through the proper, make sure you hear that zip sound as you close it. So I just started out by lining it up and then I'm literally going to do this the whole way through. So I'm back and I have done both boards and on this one I did a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 holes. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these, cut these to get them out of the way. So we're going to connect it from the back. Because where the bows are, if you can see where these rows are, these notches, is going to be the back. So we're going to connect it from here. So, for this one, I'm really going to take this, line them up. And then I'm going to start here and mark it. I'm literally going to take the zip ties, go through one end, pull it through the other end, bring them close together, make sure I put that and I'll push that. And that's the first row down. I'm back and I just wanted to show you all that I did all the rows I did across. I did a minimal amount of them. So you'll probably need, if you do, around the same amount as I did or hopefully a little less because you didn't actually need all this. So I just did all this. But if you do around the same amount that I did, you should only need two bags of the zip ties so i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to apply this so i will be using this the tall way the long way but just so that it's easier for me i am applying it this way so the whole point is since it's like a brick this is it out of the package and then you just kind of peel this off of here and it's that type of backing so the whole point is that I want it to look like brick and since I want it to look like brick I'm gonna offset it so what that means is I'm going to do three at this top row right here with an extra hanging off on the end on this on the end and then I'm going to do um, three on the other on the bottom but offsetting it so i'm going to kind of just show you instead of just talking so i'm doing the first one took the backing off and applied it like that 
and I forgot to mention this is on the side that doesn't have the knob so I turned after I applied it and cut all the knobs I turned it around so this is the part that does not have the knob on it and make sure it's flat and I'm literally going to line it up It doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect, but just line it up and make it down like that. So it is a little bit taller, but it's fine. I'm gonna cut, probably cut that edge off, like any like little imperfections or whatever it is. I can just cut that off. This. And I just wanted to show you all this edge. So this is the edge where I'm going to cut before I move on to the next one. So these, I just want to mention that these peel and sticks are not like, I'm not sure how all of them look, but these are 3D. So it has like a film backing on it so if you cut this then the edge will be open so I am still going to cut it but I am going to do those last so what I'm doing is I'm just going to go straight in and apply the next row and then with the leftover pieces I will fill in the spaces but just gonna go through and do that and then I'll be back. So I wanted to come back and show you a step-by-step -step of how I fill in these spaces. So like I was saying these things do not have like it's not like stuck to it the whole entire way it's only like perforated on the ends if that makes sense so once I cut this there's going to be an open end but I'm still going to cut it and show you so what I'm doing is I'm aligning it in the space the backing is still on there and I'm literally going to cut what I need to cut and then I'm going to take a ruler or measuring tape and I'm going to literally mark it and then cut along that line. So I cut it into this long piece. It's not exactly even, but I can always like go in and cut the edge to make it even because I'm literally, so this is what I meant by it's not stuck to the whole end, but it is stuck this way. And I'm literally going to take that and place it and i feel like with this thing don't be afraid to overlap them because we did use zip ties so the zip ties can be thick and like i don't know if you notice like a little bit in the middle it's kind of rising because i did use zip ties so if i do figure out another way to do it i will you know update this Again, so I finished the entire background, but I wanted to show you how I am going to fix the open tops and the like pieces that are sticking up on the edge. Like I mentioned earlier, the parts that don't, that I have to cut, it's not attached. So I'm really taking the rest of the pieces and I'm taking the sticky part off of it and I'm literally going to use it as like a tape. So I'm taking that, I'm cutting it into rectangles like this and then I am rolling it up a little bit, rolling it over one another like, like that. And then I take it, lift where it's lifting, put that there, and stick it down. I'm going to show you guys again. So I'm literally cutting it like this. Folding it over another, like that. Lift. 
and put that directly there. So I would say you should get the same 20 or 21 of these in order to do a tall, in order to do like four poster boards. So I'm gonna go in and this part that's lifting in the middle because the middle part obviously had the most zip ties. I'm gonna go through and put all of that there and then I will show you guys, show you all the finished product. I'm back and I wanted to show you all the finished product. The wall is about four feet or so without like anything and you can easily add two more to the top and add four more to the sides or add like two more to the sides stacked up along each other but this is the final result and I am going to go in and put command strips on the back I use these kind of command strips the ones that have the kind of like the stick in stick in loop and so I didn't do it any bigger than this because it's only going over my closet doors so this is the final product and this is the before one that I did excuse the broom but this is like the brick one and this is the they're both that's the stone brick and this is the regular brick one but thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you